got you into boxing? What started this journey for you? Well, what started the journey as far as me boxing is being a kid, being a bad kid at that. I was, a, I was one of the adolescents, always stayed in trouble, always fighting. And when I decided that trouble wasn't the answer anymore, I found a boxing gym to do a 300 community service hours. And it was the Police Athletic League in Jacksonville, Florida. I had, 300 police, I had to do 300 community service hours, and I did all of them boxing, so it worked out well. What does it mean for you to have an opportunity to fight here in New York and here at the Resorts World Casino? Oh, it feels, it's amazing. It's a blessing in itself because I never fought on a scale this big, but then the stage and the crowd and the environment New York brings to the boxing environment is good. So I'm happy to fight here, and it's a dream come true, actually. So, yeah. Have you done anything to prepare for your opponent? Have you watched anything? Have you done anything? No. Uh, a lot of training. I'm not a big guy watching on tape. I mean, I believe in fighting is who, whoever comes to the ring because the guy can fight one way, one style, and one way another day. And I've trained in the sense of height. I fight the guy around his height. I've been fighting, um, sparring a guy named by the name of Sherman Williams, Bahamian, former world champion. I've been doing a lot of sparring with him. So this is actually my preparation for the fight. Because it's all based on height, not so much the skill level of the guy. How would you describe your style of boxing? Uh, I would describe my style of boxing Ernie Shaver, George Foreman type style. I like the brawl, but I like the box also. And the better the boxer, the better fighter I become. So it works out well. Was, uh, was George your inspiration for you growing up? Who was some of your inspiration? Ernie Shaver, Josh, I mean Ernie Shaver, George Foreman, Sherman himself. Guys like Vander Holyfield, a lot of guys that are were fighters. Not just boxers, but fighters. In and, off the, in and out the ring, so it made a difference. Um, is there anybody out there with an amateur boxing? Because you had to go to that process from amateur to professional. When do you know to take that step from amateur to professional? To make that step, you literally got to believe in yourself. It's, it's not like football or baseball. It's not a game. It's a way of life, and boxing is a way of life. So you have to stay true to yourself and be like, okay, this is what I want to do. I want to make a lifestyle into boxing. It's just not a sport. You can't just go run a thousand, a thousand sprints and run a whole ball in your hand. You got to know it's mentally. It's ninety percent mental, ten percent physically. Even though people see it, but guess what? You win the fight before you even get in the ring by preparation, by training. So it makes a difference. Talk about your team and how important they are with you and your training. I uh, mean, my training, my team is always the set it higher high level for our training. Always be better than the last fight. Always be better than the last camp you had. The more improvement you have in training, the better improvement you have in training, the better you have in life and in fighting itself. So, to any guys out there fighting amateur, I mean, it's all about a lifestyle. You gotta choose to live your life, live a life of a boxer. Not just act like you're a boxer, say you're a boxer. You gotta train constantly. There's no off peak. There's always, there's always work season. There's no off season, there's no off break. I'm in the gym six or seven times a week. And I'm just saying, that's a week, and that's all. Picture being in the gym 16 times a week. That's twice a day, a.m. and p.m. work. It's constant training, keeping your mind right and focused. You know, a lot of reading, a lot of thinking, a lot of action, believing that you can do it and who you are, you want to be. And any message for the fans at home to get them to come on out and watch it this weekend? Oh, man, come out. It's going to be an exciting fight on CBS Sports. And the best, I'm telling you, the best yet this year. If we got an early year, so this won't be the last fight. So come out and see more.